Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Wizardry 7, Crusaders of the Dark Savant. Last time, we uh, we left the Ratkin Ruins, got ourselves the big stick from uh, Blind Mice, and forgot to do something over in New City. Uh, if you recall, the Rizuka uh, said that they would open something up for us over there, I think. Um... So we'll, we'll go back and check on that, depending on how things go here and on the road. Uh, but for now, yeah, we're just uh, exploring the uh, the wilderness here, seeing if we can find the uh, the critter over here, which I expect we probably will at some point. Um, but for now, yeah, we're just going to... Do as we do and just explore some nooks and crannies here. See how things go. I'm actually feeling like this is not going to lead to where I thought it was going to lead. I'm actually going to go back. Because I would like to... I mean, maybe it will, but... I would just like to see what's going on here. <laughs> so we went through the woods and I thought this was going to link up. Well, maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it'll go up around like that. I don't know. Uh, but luckily, yeah, so far, these are some pretty, pretty easy fights, so we don't have too terribly much to worry about on the road at the moment. We'll see if that continues to be the case. Um, beyond that, we're, we're still, I think we're still looking for a book to complete a ritual over in Tower of Dane that we, I mean, we were in Tower of Dane so, so, so very long ago. And we still have to finish up blowing up the uh, <laughs> the terrain eggs and dealing with, I think it's Hijen, Hijenra or something like that. Uh, so, you know, we've still got some loose ends. Uh, and certainly we've done very little water exploration. I mean, basically none. So we have to figure out what the... Kind of figure out what the, what the boat map was telling us. And really look at some of our other maps. Um... Because we have solved the clues for a couple of them, but we've got like seven or eight of them now, I think. So there's a, there's a lot more to be done, I feel. Okay, let's make sure we get all that explored. Ah, so it looks like maybe it is going to link up down this way. Feeling like there's a fight coming on any time now. It would be nice if we got, like, more than one square of exploration <laughs> when we did this. Like, if we got the one square and then the uh, the immediately surrounding... Oh, God. The immediately surrounding squares? Uh, tell you what we do here. Um, We don't use this spell very often. Let's try one of those. And then what we'll do, just in case that doesn't work, is, uh... Try and put all of these guys... To sleep. I expect that the, the Mind Flay will work, because uh, we can put them to sleep in the first place. They're not, like, resistant to the School of Magic, but I guess we'll see. Basically, we're going to give him really bad dreams. Freddy Krueger style, I guess. Getting some nice turn order, too. Well, we hit, but we actually didn't do quite as much damage with it as I thought we would. It was going to, like, undo all the sleeps we just did. <laughs> Instead of outright killing them. I mean, we'll get quite a few of them, but... Okay, we're going to have to... Do this the hard way. Yeah, the glowing auras are kind of what I'm worried about. Just, and I guess the webbings to some extent because they can paralyze. It's just annoying. Can't remember if they poison as well with their tongue attack. Things are going more or less okay at the moment, though. What do we got left? I feel like there's a lot of groups left, but they're all super duper damaged. Yes, that is accurate. 
All right, let's um, we'll deal with those, and then uh, we'll just try and put these last couple groups to sleep, like so. See how that does for us. Okay, yeah, we should be fine here. Yeah, I think our levels are paying dividends right now with being able to resist all these glowing auras and shenanigans like that. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. In theory, I mean, these are all glow mothras. Or mostly glow mothras. We should get a... Actually, maybe get a decent amount of XP out of this. One more group. Alrighty, good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, well, we got a lower level out of it. That's nice. Okie dokie, have some of that, I guess. And uh, for physical, I guess I was giving you Skullduggery. And yeah, have, have some reflection, my man. And last but not least, his crit is... Oh, it's so close. Almost maxed out. New Lord spell, really? Still? Last one, I guess. Oh, no, not quite last one. Almost last one. We'll take Cure Stone. Just in case, I guess, we may, we may need to sell our Cure Stone potions to pay off the uh, bazooka before too long here. We'll see. Uh, let's also just get... Oh, okay. So, I was gonna say, let's just get that going. Okay, um, we're just going to swing away on these guys. I can't imagine they're going to stand up to uh, getting the smack in the face too well. And that's... <laughs> Appears to be accurate so far. Okay. Easy fights. What do we got? 977 XP and 19 gold. With gains like that, we'll pay uh, pay the Razuka in no time. Okay, I think we're good here. So yeah, as you can see, this does indeed link up. Oh good, it's just a five. Yeah, it is tedious fighting, even if they're lower level enemies, fighting giant groups of them. <laughs> Unless we use overwhelming magical force. Might need to take a little snooze before too long too. Just in the interest of, um... Not running out of stamina. Oh, they got one glowing ore off. Didn't matter though. I didn't want to take a snooze yet, but I appreciate the effort there, Moth. Okay. Uh, I think we're good there. Got some kind of path here. Looks like it stretches on for quite a while, actually. Ooh, bugs. Haven't seen bugs in a little bit. Um, I think we'll just gang up on the one group, put the other group to sleep, just because it's easier to menu that. forest out here. Not too much is the answer. Uh, I guess we'll keep going this way for a bit just see what we can see. It's looking like this... I don't know, we might be getting close to... I oh, haven't seen these in a while. Um, Actually, you know what we should be doing is... Do you still have... I must have dropped it or sold it, I guess. I thought maybe we saw like a stray wand or something. Uh, let's hide. I don't think everybody's hide is exactly maxed. 
I think we're pretty close on most people, but... Um, yeah, we should endeavor to get those skills up if we can. And indeed we can. But, uh... Yeah, I'm wondering if... This is the portion of the path we want to be on. Oh, we got away, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, this is the portion of the path we want to be on to so go find... Something new. This is going to link back up to road, so let's at least explore the rest of this little area to link up what we already know about. And then we'll uh, we'll go back and we'll check out the woods, just in case that does lead to a new area. I'm not going to hide against these guys because uh, I don't want them to end up um, putting us to sleep or something like that through tor tur turn order or whatever. I can avoid it. It just seems faster and more efficient to just smack these guys in particular. Although I guess with the group that's already asleep, we can then hide. In fact, I think I'll um, we'll take a look at everybody's skills real quick, real quick and just see where we're at with hiding. Huh, turns out it's really easy to hide when everybody... You're fighting has their eyes closed and <laughs> is sound asleep. You missed. How do you miss? Alrighty. Uh, let's just take a look. What do we got here for uh, for skills? So you're going to just use that 100. 100. He must be at 100, yeah. 100. Maybe everybody is maxed out. 100. Okay, never mind. We're, uh, we're all set on that. I thought for some reason we were still like a few points away from... Um, being maxed out with some people, but I guess that is not the uh, the case here. Okay, so there's that all explored, uh, and then we'll just grab these last couple squares here as soon as we deal with these guys, just like so. Okay. I really wish that we could <laughs> have the poet's loot be at the top of the inventory stack, but with the way equipment gets auto-sorted when you equip it, unfortunately that's just not possible, as far as I know. Okay, little nook right around here. And it's going to lead back to that. Okay, I think we're we're kind of kind of sorted here now as far as what's been explored. Let's uh let's come over here now. And uh, we'll just have ourselves a little naparoonie here. To get some stamina back and then we'll we'll continue on down this forest path. Let's see what we run into if anything. So I could just check um, people's weights. Yeah, every, if people have too much weight, they get fatigued as we walk around, which is obviously not particularly desirable. All right, more bugs. In this case, we'll just go ahead and fight them, I guess. stuff. And I guess that was it, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Back to the road we go. Uh, we must be getting kind of close to Nyctalanth, I feel like, at this point. 
Oh uh, yeah, we already explored all that. Okay. Probably fights coming up pretty soon on the road here. In the field ahead, you hear the din of a battle in progress. A group of brown spidery creatures are flailing with long glowing rods. Oh, yeah, I didn't get to read that at all. I got something. From between them shoots a bright red sled into the air. But immediately, something by a net which grabs the end of the flying vehicle. The Spider-Man quickly haul it back to the ground. Uh, from the crashing sled, you see the pilot leap into the foray of brown attackers. It appears to be a woman heavily outnumbered. You see her turn in your direction and call out something, but she's too far away for you to hear. Do you wish to join her in the battle against the Spider-Man? Well, yeah, because F the, the terrain, right? They're made of spiders. <laughs> you run to help the struggling girl. We're going to get ambushed, aren't we? Two assassins, or three assassins, rather, and six wilders are so good at hiding that I, I <laughs> misread the number. Um, What do you think you do here? I think you... Uh, just go buck wild on these guys, and then maybe you slap a little uh, little silence on those guys, and then give us a... Uh, yeah, he doesn't have haste, unfortunately. We could just kill him with fire, too. <laughs> That's always an option. Um, but I think we'll do, just in case, we'll do the bless, just like so. Okay. They're quick. But we are far stronger, it looks like. This probably would have been a much more challenging fight at, like, level 8. <laughs> or whatever, 10, when, when we originally came over this way. But we came, I think, from the other direction. So... We, uh... Never saw this. All right, so that's all of those guys. Let's just clean up the riffraff now. Yeah, I apologize that uh, we weren't able to read all that. If I remember, I maybe we'll have tried to slow that down a little bit if I can. But I may not remember. We'll see. That's actually a lot of XP, too. We got a pole arm. Probably another uh, shock rod of some kind. The battle over, the pilot girl returns to her fiery vessel and glides over to land before you. Thy, coverage, or thy courage is great and thy arm strong. I am Janet of the Helizoid Legion, defenders of the City of Sky. I was sent by the great queen of our tribe, Dam Kelly to learn of the strangers that now inhabit our lands. We wait the coming of the Crusaders. This seems important. I give you to you this banner of my people. Fempo got an item. Carry it with you that all Helizoids shall know you as friend. Present it to Dame Kelly in the City of Sky, and she will welcome you. Saying farewell, the pilot girl, Janet throttles her crimson steed and goes zooming off into the sky. Okay. Interesting. Got another shock rod here. We don't need this, but we'll keep it in case we can sell it for a couple bucks. And, uh, Helizoid's banner. It seems, is this? No, it's not that heavy. Um, let's just have a quick little look-see. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Just, uh, an item for us to use later. I guess, but okay. Very interesting. We have no idea how to get to the City of the Sky. But I appreciate the offer. <laughs> we don't have, you know, a... Flying, uh... Little Sky Sled like she does. At least not yet. Maybe someday. We'll see.
Maybe uh, Bella will come back and, and, and pick us up. That was, his, that was his name, right? I think. The dragon from the end of 6 and beginning of our adventure here. It's been so long, I'm, I'm forgetting people's names. <laughs> okay. So I wonder if she gets roasted and toasted if we... Oh, we can see... Look at the very top of the mat there, we can see Nick the Uh Yeah, if she gets roasted and toasted, I wonder if we just go pick up the banner anyway. <laughs> or if maybe the Trang scurry off with it. Oops, there we go. Let's make sure we get all those. This, uh, this little spot here as well. There we are. Okay. Good stuff. So now the question is, are we going to see anything interesting by the time we make it all the way back to Nyctolith? Okay, some Ratkin. We haven't seen these guys in a little bit. I mean, well, since la last episode, <laughs> I guess. Uh, haven't seen them on the road in a little bit, I guess, is maybe a little more accurate way to put that. Okay, easy fights. Easy, easy fights. Okay. So, uh, actually, there's something over here. Another clearing. With some uh, understandably upset terrain. I think we'll just fight him. I'm not going to worry about the silence here. Yeah, a while back, somebody mentioned that we... I can't remember if I, if I mentioned this or not, but somebody uh, mentioned that we missed a chest that could have... Or didn't miss a chest, but there was a chest that could have had a cat of nine tails in it, and we didn't get it. Which is sad days for Nerb because he could be doing way, 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 way more damage <laughs> if he had one. Uh, unfortunately, he does not have one. So we gotta rely on the crits with him pretty much. Ooh, I don't like that. Don't like it so much that I'm gonna do one of those. Am I gonna do that? Let's hide first, just in case we fizzle it. Yeah, that works out pretty well. Oh, Fempo hasn't hasn't gotten a turn yet. There we go. And in fact, actually, instead of having Fenpo do it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll at least take a crack at it, I think. Um, move equip. Just uh, everybody have a quick snooze. We'll let her do that. And um, you may as well just do that. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, we got a sword. Is this like a, a rapier, probably? Or a basilard? Yep. We don't need that. That's not actually going to be worth anything anyway. So there's no reason for us to lug that around at this point, I don't think. Okay. Moving right along here. We're making pretty good progress on the road, I feel like. Just uh, overall here. Probably going to get into a fight soon. Okay, a little bit more of a path down here, but actually not much to it.
Let's go ahead and just get another. Eh, not with you though. Let's get uh, maybe you. You actually don't have detect secret, huh? Never mind. Here we go. So uh, it looks like there's a quite a bit of stuff. Oh, over this way. How the how the the uh, turntable is here. We've come across a rather, in fact, come across a substantially more difficult fight <laughs> than what we've been seeing so far. This changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, you're going to try and put those to sleep. We'll see how that goes. Don't know if vampire rooks can be put to sleep or not. But we definitely got to get the Bantari out of here. So far, so good, though. So I guess we tried the sleep and it just didn't work. I didn't actually see. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. We'll just we'll just fight him. good chunk of XP there as uh, we often get from the Bantari so it definitely seems like there's some stuff going on over in that direction Ooh, even here as well uh, yeah let's hide again could do some buffs but I don't think we're quite there yet Ooh, they're running away from us huh that's annoying we'll just fight him and uh, I imagine this should be over relatively quickly especially when we get crits like that and that. It'd be nice to get that extra XP though. Alright, let's link up. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> As I say, let's link up the road. Make sure all of our exploration is uh, in order here before we go off on any tangents. It would, would sure be nice to get a better weapon for Nurb and a better offhand for Fempo. Like, the back of Corbin's been doing doing some work for us. Once in a while, it'll knock someone out, but it's not like a super great weapon. I know that there are much, much better weapons in general, but I don't know... Ooh, hello. Oh, it's, uh, Shenzheng. Um... Yeah, I don't know... What? He's got a map? We have to buy that. We're contractually obligated to buy that. He's got the map of fools. How did he get that? Well, we don't have much choice. As for the rest of this, though, we don't need that. Uh... Where did you get that map? <laughs> All right. Guess we'll leave him be. Well, let's take a look at this, shall we? Fools, the map is a sketch of a vast wilderness and drawn within it a trail which ends with an X. That's it. That's all it says. Oh, I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if we just wasted ten thousand gold. <laughs> this is what just happened. It is the fool's map because we are a fool for even bothering with anything it has to say. Because it gives us no no clues, no indications. It's just just some rando rando uh, treasure map that we will never, ever uncover the secrets of. 
That's that's my best guess. I guess we'll find out eventually here. All right, you gotta stop following me, though, man. <laughs> okay, just moths this time. Okay, we'll uh, we'll fight them, and we'll put those ones to sleep. Uh, yeah, I think we'll. Now that we've got all this explored, we'll. We'll go check out this side path in the woods here. I wonder where the fool's map came from. Hopefully uh, that's actually not from the area the Razuga opened up for us and we just missed it because I forgot to go there. Actually, it's entirely possible. But I figured since we're already here, I'd rather handle this. And then we'll we'll just check it next time we're in New City. I have an idea of what they opened. I don't know. I have, I'd have to go back and read what is it is exactly the guy said. But there's like one particular area of New City that we haven't been able to get into, as well as what I think is unrelated. But uh, there's a puzzle that we haven't uh, solved over there as well. In the uh, I think it's the museum, more or less. So we've got a couple loose ends over there, and of course the the whole situation with the actually yeah we'll just fight him. Um, the whole situation with the boat as well, because we know of a boat and a guy who has said boat, but I'm not sure that we've figured out anything about it. Uh, but hopefully the boat map will shed some light on that once we go back and really uh, start looking at things here. All right, now we're, we're kind of in the thick of the bushes here. Getting attacked all the time. Might, might want to do some buffs soon. So these fights are getting a little trickier. Yeah, like dragon rooks. I think we actually got to handle these guys uh, with a little bit more oomph. It's a good start. Also good. Also good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is going to be fine. It's worried about the... Oh, come on. <laughs> worried about getting fire breathed upon. Okay, tell you what. Let's, uh, yeah, let's come over... And uh, we'll do a round of buffs here. She have magic screen. She does not. Um, that's fine. We'll just have you do it instead, I guess. And let's get just a new one of those going for good measure. All right. What are we? What are we gonna find out here? Oh, uh, asking you shall receive. You're going to find a shitload of Bantar E is what you're going to find. Um, let's try the Luda Sloth. See if we can slow him. I'm curious if that'll work. You guys, triple paralyzed and triple poisoned. Uh, yeah, we can definitely use the Loot of Sloth on them. Good to know. I'm not sure that's better than the Angel's Tongue, but... It's something different. Alright, nice chunk of XP there. Just, woods are just filthy with Bantari. <laughs> They're everywhere, and dragon rooks. And 
probably fight like that, and then... In this case, let's use the Angel Song, I guess. Ah, Acid Spray, not Fire Spray. It's the first bit of damage we've taken in a little bit, actually. Yeah, I completely forgot that they do acid and not fire. Decent little chunks of XP, though, so I guess I'm not going to complain too uh, terribly much here. The question is, is this going to lead to anything, or is this just random <laughs> woods with a shitload of monsters everywhere? Alright, this time I think we probably better hide. Alright, uh, first, let's do the Ventari. And we'll try to put these guys to sleep again. I don't know that it's going to work. And then we'll try to loot a sloth, other ones in the back. Oops, I think I just cast Blast, not Sleep. Which I guess is just as well, but uh, not quite what I intended. It's probably what happened last time, is I clicked the wrong spell. That's fine, um, here, we'll just try the Poet's Loot and we'll, we'll see if that works. It does work, okay. Yeah, the Vampire Rook's not really actually all that dangerous. I think they, they can hit maybe kind of hard, but... I don't think they have anything super nasty, if I recall. Alright. I guess we'll keep going... This way-ish. See what we can find. Just more... <laughs> more and more and more... Freaking Bantari. All day, every day. Ooh, actually, I uh, missed him with the... The slow there a little bit. Okay, looking like this is just one big clearing right here, so uh, unfortunately that was a little bit of a bust. And it's not looking much more promising over on this side either, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, is that going to link up? Yes. Okay, we'll just fight these guys, that's fine. Buffs are probably going to run out fairly soonish. So we may take a little bit of a, a snooze in the woods here before too long. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We'll just fight those, put these ones to sleep, call it a day. So it seems like the, the only thing interesting we found so far is the the waylaid Helizoid. With uh, her her nifty banner that she gave us. It's also a longer road to get to Nicolinth this way than I expected it to be. 
very twisty uh, and turny through these woods. You'd think that they would just cut down some trees, maybe like right here, <laughs> and make this path a lot shorter, but no. So we're getting, you know, some, I mean, we're so high level now that it's not as good as it could be, but we're getting, you know, decent chunks of XP every time we kill another pack of Bantari, so I guess there's that going for us at least. Okay, I think we better hide on this one. I mean, if we may get acid breath a little bit here. Ooh, wow. All right, could have been worse, I guess. I need to do a little bit of healing on Fempo there in a bit. Okie dokie. I think you definitely prioritize the Bantari. And then maybe... You can put the Rooks to sleep? We'll try it. But we'll also try, just because I'm, I'm kind of curious, we'll try one of those. See if that'll kill the birds and or the Bantari, if any of them are still alive by the time we cast it. So sleep, not actually that effective. And neither is asphyxiation, not on the birds, or the, uh, the dragon rocks. Interesting, okay. Good to know, I guess. All right, I think we'll just split up our uh, our attacks here, and then let's use... I don't know if we've done an Angel's Tongue. We'll just do that. I think that's fine. Good stuff. Nice chunk of XP there. No complaints whatsoever. And let's go ahead and make sure we get that square. And then we'll check out the woods here. Looks like there's going to be a whole lot of not much, most likely. Figured there might be a fight here. Can be a little bit... Uh, tedious exploring like every square of these woods but it's got to be done because you never know when an, an event's going to pop up like the one with the, the helizoid so because the uh, you know the graphics being what they are you can't, it's not like we can see what's going on in the distance <laughs> we just got to walk on a square and find out Ooh, two damage, how dare you. Which reminds me, yeah, I should heal... Heal Fempo a little bit here, real quick. Let's go ahead and... Who's got... Who's got magic? You got magic. And one more. That should be fine. I think he's probably back to full. All right. Looking like... Another dead end here. Ooh. This one, um, I think, yeah. Uh, let's do something like that, maybe. And, um. You, have, you don't have haste. Uh, just. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think the asphyxiate's going to solve a lot of our problems in about two seconds here. I don't even need to cast it at quite a high, quite such a high level for these particular enemies, since they're all very low level. Oh, maybe I was wrong. A couple of them are, are getting away with it. It is air magic, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're a little bit resistant to air magic as well. Could be. 
All right, what's left? We got this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. And you know what we'll do here? Smack that guy with a big fat acid splash. See how that goes. Kablam! We don't get to use those single target damage spells uh, very often. Oh, little something there. We're getting a little off track here, but we're still getting pretty close to make the work as far as I can tell. Okay, we'll just. Ooh, actually, you know what? Back that up. We'll fight this group. And we'll put the Ratkin to sleep. Just like so. We're getting back to the easier enemies now. Should be the last of these guys. Okay. Um. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> just a, a big old dead end. All right. We're not quite gonna make it to to Nectolinth, but uh, we're we're pretty close. So when we come back after we kill these guys, when we come back, we'll. Finish exploring up this area. We didn't find what I was hoping we would find. Although there is still a little bit left. We're not quite there. Uh, so we may still still yet find a, a path off to the side. But if we don't find what we're looking for, then we can certainly always just backtrack to New City and see if we can find the uh, the thing that the Rizuka were talking about. Um, and also pursue the situation with the boat. As well as, if we get really desperate, we can also sell some crap and just go back to the Rizuka and give him the 40,000 gold. So, still a few options open.